Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, do you know that if you have an uncle, auntie, brother, sister, mother, nephew, niece, half brother, half sister, grandparents here, do you know that they, if they are citizens, they can give you document. Do you know that? In Italy here? Okay. If you're here for the first time, why don't you subscribe, okay, and press the bell, okay? Press the bell so that you get notification. Thank you all to my greatest subscribers. Please remember to share to friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, yeah obtaining a family document is as easy as abc that is if you're having any of your relative here second degree relatives like your uncle aunties cousins you know half brothers half sisters nephew niece all those kind of people if they are here and they're already citizens you know they can give you a document that is if you are living with them that is coexisting with them in their house at that very moment you know so even you yourself, let's say if you yourself, you're a citizen, you know, you have the Italian passport now. It means that you can equally give someone else document who is related to you, bloodline, you know. It could be relative, it could be your brother, your sister, your niece, cousin, vice versa, okay. Now, if you are coexisting with that person, let's say now you are with your uncle, okay. You are living with your uncle who is a citizen now because he wants to give you the, the document. You must coexist with him. And at that moment, you cannot be deported. It is not possible. Under the law, you cannot be deported. Okay? Now, remember that this person who is to grant you this, um, who is a citizen that wants to help you get document, the family document, motivo familiare document, it means that he must be working. That means his code must be high, you know? His, his salary, the income must be high also. So he must be working, whether self-employed or um gained employment you know so now in this case questora you know has to grant the person documents if the person meets certain conditions like you have to like proving that you are related like you are uh, related to the person like second degree relative to the person there's a proof of that remember second degree relative means that you share at least 25 percent of your dna you know with that person let's say you are my cousin and we share a little bit dna of 25 percent because we are related yeah that's dna for you second also you must have to prove that you are coexisting with the person like leaving the person living with the person in his house or her house that's the one who is going to give you this document the citizen that your relative who is already a citizen okay so now when this is when questura this is a condition that you have to meet but if you don't meet these conditions, like you cannot prove that uh, you are related to the person through bloodline, you know, you know, uh, that you you are kind of second degree relative to the person and you're not even living with the person. In these cases, you can be expelled. You will be deported because you're not living with the person. You cannot prove it. Another reason why you'll be deported also is if you have committed serious crime, dangerous crime, you know, crime that they cannot even tolerate, you know. Crimes like stealing, rape, drug-related issues, different degrees of offenses. In that case, you can be deported or expelled from the country. Now, how do you apply? You, in person, have to go by yourself to Questora to submit certain documents as the headquarter of police. You know, to submit certain documents, you know, documents that prove that you are related to the person. You are a second degree relative to that person. It could be also like DNA test results. But remember, the documents you have to bring that will show the family bond has to be in detailed, written in detailed format, like specifying how you are related to this person. Birth certificate, family history, family residence certificate, all those kind of things. It has to be detailed. And this will not be, you don't have to get it here in, in Italy here, let's say through your embassy. You have to go back to your country of origin, not going back really. If someone can help you, quality get it. Because in this case, you can't travel because you don't have documents. Because already you are irregular. That's why you are requesting for this family document. So, someone back home can arrange for these documents for, for you. And remember that this document has to be interpreted in Italian, translated to Italian, and also legalized. And the embassy will carry out what they call validation on it. So, when this document arrives here for you, to you, then you can use it to go and apply, okay, in Questora. 
Also, remembering that the person who is a citizen has to also attach some of his documents too. You know, the normal generic documents, Cotiche Fiscale, PMS orders, um, um, Italian passport, um, identity card, and the rest of them. Also, his booster paga. So, with it, you can go to the Questora and then give it to them. Questora will carry out a background check, like to check really if you coexist with this person. Remember, I'll be doing a video where I'll be telling you what to do to be free from this person who is giving you this document, who is a citizen giving you this document, because you must always coexist with this person, live with this person all through your life. Anything that makes you leave this person, maybe go to another state and rent a house, if you go to renew that document, it will be taken away from you. So watch it out in my next video, okay? So now, that is it basically. Remember that to file for the application, it has to be done in the prefetura, not the normal post office where you go and take a normal kit and apply. No, it has to be done in prefetura where you go and submit all the necessary thing, you know, these documents that prove the relationship and uh, coexisting. Because coexisting, when you have to prove it to the police, you know, you have to bring like things like hospitalita certificate. Uh, residence certificate or lo status de familia certificate which means your name is there you are registered in the commune you also have the identity card you know so this is a way to prove that you are coexisting also with the person that's one of the proofs okay so now application has to be done in prefectura and then the police will run different background check investigate all the documents you have bring you know have brought to them so before you know it, the document is yours you have the it could be five years if you are the wife of the person or a child to that person who is a citizen. Let's say I am married. My wife, my children could get five years. That is if I'm the one trying to give them document. They will get a five years family motivi, family motivi di familiare document. But if I am giving to my cousin, nephew, niece, all those kind of people, have brother, have sister, you know, those kind of people, they will be getting the two years motivi di familiare document. So watch out in my next video. How can you be independent with this motivity familiar document? Not always depending on me because if I have to travel to any state relocating, you have to relocate with me because you must coexist with me all the time if I'm doing giving it to you this document. That means if I throw you away out of my house, it means that you'll be left with that document because when you go to renew, you can't prove that you're coexisting anymore. So Questura will not renew the document and you'll be expelled deported so watch it out okay i'll be making the video all right um chi why don't you show me that love show me love but remember it could be your auntie uncle father mother brother niece nephew half brother half sisters grandfather grandmother these people can give you document because you are related uh by bloodline you know second degree relatives first degree is like my wife my children they are my first degree relatives okay all right until then Subscribe, okay? And please press the bell. Remember to share to friends on WhatsApp, Facebook. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm Chi. Ciao.